Alright guys, welcome back to Planet Coaster here with Doc and today after last time we made this masterpiece here our amazing robot statue and I implemented some feedback I was getting um, I had the head really straight and now it's kind of looking down onto the path and onto the people here so that was pretty much the only criticism I got for the thing mostly praises which was really nice so make sure to keep that up guys and um, it's really motivating and awesome to see if I do something good let me know in the comments share some love share some likes share the video subscribe if you haven't and all the good stuff so today we want to start working on the main building here um, we have this bridge in there already I worked a little bit on rerouting paths here and stuff um, and I think it looks pretty good now how they come down I decided on leaving those sides open and yeah just blend in the stairs some struts below and stuff and I think these light pots here also look really cool it's a cool shape and I think yeah in general I'm happy with the pathing now so after that was done I can now start working on the building here and yeah there is these metal walls in the game those guys here uh, and they work out pretty well I would say for what we are trying to do here and I think up here this is the height we need to gun for about that high and then we can start um, with a roof construction and I also already started to yeah get some decorative elements in there like you know pieces like that to kind of break yeah break off the white wall a bit and um, we will have to do lots of it here I integrated the walkway in and probably want to leave this this thing out in the open um, but maybe also extend the building this way and integrate a shop here we will see how it how it plays out I had I have a kind of an idea what I want to do but it's not 100% there yet so um, up on top here we definitely wanted to implement those cool laser cannons those guys here I mean they are just too cool not to use right so um, let's just put them down as some kind of help uh, for orientation um, how we gonna have this all Let's see, we can rotate them by 45. And it's not 100% there yet. Scoot them over a bit. Like, say, this thing shoots in this direction. And put it kind of in the middle of the roof. Might have to balance it out a bit further. But I definitely want to have these guys on top here somehow. Shooting in between. Um, yeah the tracks here so it needs to be turned a little bit like that I guess that that works out fine sadly as it looks uh, yes we can we can scoot it a little bit more forward but okay then it would not be completely centered something like that as one centerpiece for the roof here and then obviously we need to do some more blending in here on the sides to make it work out really well but you know general idea have that thing on top here definitely firing in that direction and then see behind here maybe I was seeing this piece that could be on top there too so um, you know so we get some sort of cupola um, up on the roof Let's see if that works out. Like, let's say, yeah, we line that up like so. Push that over. And maybe scoot that into the build like that. Maybe we have to go down a little bit. You have to see, it pretty much has to sit right on top of the track. Something like that, um, as a base roof shape. I think that. Yeah, that gives some nice dimension, rounds it up a bit. And yeah, here I'll definitely find a fix. I'll put in some ceiling or something. We make it work. But yeah, that is kind of a basic shape we want to work with. And then we'll see. Having the track going in and around it is really cool. And I like the look of, look of that already. So yeah, with that base idea, 
Um, I'm gonna yeah just keep on working here and try to blend the thing in. There's plenty of options um, with the new building pieces for the future or you know new in the sense that we didn't use them yet and of course I'll keep you updating. Uh, updated. Updating. I keep you updating. <laughs> Alright guys, a little bit later now, and I started to integrate a shop front here. Um, we have, a, it's a hamburger shop I think, yeah, and some juice here. People are frequenting it, that is nice. And I think that works out. Um, we can have some detailed pieces in here, I haven't decided about what, and of course, you know, in general, way more detail is needed. But the basic shape of the building is done now. I think it turned out pretty cool. It is a big coaster station actually, but the building with the round roof um, looks really slim. And that's what we want from here. We don't want that super massive clunky building. And of course here is the train station that will also you know, be done in a similar fashion style um, to what we got going on now. And yeah, here's the entrance. I like that pretty much. It's really cool. And we will see how we blend that all in, but in general, that's the shape. Um, for the coaster realism enthusiasts watching the show, um, you might have saw that already, or seen that already here. I have um, also support beams now for the coaster track, <coughs> which I think is more realistic and better. We have the big loop going over the building. Um, I think it's semi-realistic in a sense of structural integrity um, but yeah there is just no space to get more struts in there so from that standpoint I think we're all good now this laser is firing into the building um, that is obviously bad we need to fix that <laughs> at some point we cannot shoot our own building so it has to shoot off in this direction I assume but that's a bit of uh, fiddling around because we have these yeah, laser effects in there, uh, but we can we can turn it. I mean, let's say this would fire this way, right? But yeah, we have to change the lasers in there. Let me see. Here is the here's the lasers. I'll replace them later. So yeah, let's move that down. So it rather would fire off into this direction here. Uh, make it about the same height. Uh, that's better. Okay, cool. See how stuff looks during nighttime a little bit. Really cool, in my opinion, already. I mean, this stuff here, the yeah, using that for the roof is just amazing. Turns out to be really great. I have a trimming around here, which kind of caps off the roof. And I think that turned out cool too. So now my next plan is kind of to finish this area here. Get an idea how we're gonna blend that in. And then we can continue with the facade and details and stuff. By the way, did the coaster rating, the scenery rating is already at 100% now for this guy. Very nice. I think it was just broken down, right? The queue is not long enough for this thing. Yeah, it was just broken. More people will come over and check it out. We also need toilets and other infrastructure here, but we'll get it done. Alright, I'm setting up a trigger here. Uh, okay, it needs to go up a little bit higher, I assume. It triggers it relatively quick. I want the um, yeah, car to come through and when it's at the peak, you want the trigger to go off. Um, also, yeah, I did some, some of the work outside here for the staircase and it's getting there. I'm liking it already. Looks pretty good in my book. Kind of the waiting line. Started with some pipe working here. I think that fits really well. We will keep that pipe theme up on that build, also kind of complementing the color of the coaster. And let's see when the next card is coming in. Um, it's sometimes hard to see in the spaghetti monster override. Going up. Here we go, here we go. So let's see if it's timed nicely. Uh, you can pretty much almost have the trigger right on top here. Now that should work out fine because this cannon literally fires at the exact same time the card passes. 
So having it right there should be perfect. Let's wait for one more card to come by, but other than that I'm pretty happy um, with the direction we're going with this build here. Um, there is one incoming over there. So let's see and give it a quick test. There she comes. And... Bam! Yeah! Nice! Okay, that's cool. So yeah, um, made this staircase set up here. I'm trying to blend it in a bit, added some more detail to the shop front. There will be more, of course. We will see how um, yeah, signs and uh, awnings and stuff look here. Mm, but other than that, I like the piping going on on this bigger tower. And we will have it outside the building, all around the building. It will be a lot of work to yeah, say we like it like that. But I use the piping here to disguise the bases of these lampposts a little bit. And I think that worked out fine. We have one here, giving a bit of light. I'm probably not going to add any here on the bridge. Should be fine like that, I think. But yeah, overall, pretty satisfied. I'm looking for these... Yeah, these tower-like structures kind of offset and boom, yeah. Sweet, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'll keep on working and um, I'll show you um, what I've done in a little bit. Alright, look at that guys. This is um, in the evening times and I think the lighting situation is pretty good here. Good enough on the bridge. It's a bit of a dark spot here, but that is all fine. And I made this little scenery piece here. This is so amazing. The sci-fi parts are actually super duper cool. And yeah. Oh. View challenge. Achieve a monthly profits from coasters of... Okay. Okay, we just did that. Nice. So, look at that scenery piece here. I mean, this is just super cool. This alien is kneeling down there and typing on the keyboard on the computer, kind of controlling this machine, which gets, you know, pipes coming in. And yeah, there's some steam popping off of that thing still. And then we have this repair droid that is kind of manipulating the thing too. It's like R2-D2 style, you know, he plugs in and goes like... Adjusts some valves or something. And we have one guy standing guard here. And then I also attach this robot arm. Just want to move it into position correctly. Something like that. You know, just yeah, maneuvering over the waiting line there. and Just doing something. Just super cool. Here we got this little brain logo. And I really like the hot dog stand. Or hot dog squad sign there too. I think it has a sci-fi flair to it. You know, futuristic, flashy glowy and yeah over there I have this symbol of an atom going on and I need to yeah, frame that in better I also started to do some detailing work here with some small side yeah, structures and tower and we're gonna yeah, do that all over the building but from here already we have a really yeah, lively and cool looking scenery piece and yeah use these cables to create a little fence here I think that turned out cool too. And yeah, I'm really happy. Um, I, I, I really enjoy the sci-fi building. Um, it's really cool. It has great building pieces and cool stuff you can work with. Um, one thing though that is a bit limited is windows. I mean, if you look at windows and let's say we gave it a um, sci-fi filter, right? It's empty. So there's literally no windows that go with sci-fi. I mean, what you could use be potentially those, but they would look boring and would need a lot of yeah, trimming and changing. Other than that, I don't really see any you know windows that would fit with that theme. Um, so that's a bit of a lag there, and I hope there will be more sci-fi themed windows. I will definitely send this one over to the guys of um, Planet Coaster and see, uh, show them what you can do with the sci-fi theme. As I haven't seen that much yet of it, most people are building in this classical style. I've been using over here sci-fi, seems to be a little bit of a forgotten theme. Um, 
but I think we will revive it with this build and yeah it's starting to get somewhere you can see how detailed this build's gonna be but it's gonna take um, a lot more time for sure to, to mess with it and then I wanna have a smooth transition to over here um, but I do like how the shops are integrated in here it looks also clean from the back side here so that's a plus um, so yeah Next up, I think I want to work on this front here a little bit, try to blend it in. It's not sad that this will just sit there like it is. I might add some more details to it, but we'll see. Um, I'm on a good way though, I think. Here also we need to hide the grass a bit more. Don't want to have grass visible on the sides here, but that should be easy. Let's say if we, I don't know, grab a random piece and try to hide it a bit. Uh, maybe those guys here put them to the left and to the right of the entrance to kind of give it a bit more more of something you know something like that integrate that here see how that flows just for a tester yeah push it out up to here maybe and sink it in a little bit further Something like that, we'll see, I figure something out that might be a bit too bright and textureless. But yeah, we'll fix that so you can not see in there too much. Um, the insides of buildings, I have to be honest, I'm not too concerned about. Um, I have to find a compromise, you know, I was thinking, okay, should I also really make the inner areas of the building super detailed and, you know, if you're standing in there in the waiting line, things would also look smooth and clean but you know that's adding more and more polygons for something you cannot really see and at some point I have to make a cut um, not because I'm not willing to you know go all the all the way and you know do the detailing inside just uh, of pure performance you know reasons with the game there is limits of how many polys we can do and we need to find a healthy compromise if I want to make this thing bigger and bigger um, we definitely need some reserves uh, right here we have borderline so I'm going high detail here already again so yeah it's gotta be a, a wise compromise so I'm gonna make look uh, stuff look great from the outside but inside um, I think we gotta live with yeah less detailed um, a less detailed approach but I think that's fine Alrighty guys, quite some time passed by and yeah, I've been adding more and more details, creating a transition over here into our masterpiece from last time, our awesome robot we got kneeling down there. And yeah, it's like a tunnel that comes off this base and connects to this area, which is kind of crushed and destroyed by the robot right now. So that's kind of the idea, you know, electrical sparks there because he's squeezing it from on top and broke some stuff. Maybe I'll put some, so yeah, some fallen off pieces there um, somewhere. We'll see. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with the entrance now as well. We have this piping going on and things. Right now I'm in testing mode with the coaster. I'll show you why in a second. So it's really, really cool scenery here. I mean, come on. That is pretty amazing. The switchboard here and yeah, pipes. And we got more pipes coming up here on the building. Kind of, yeah, waving around or weaving around the building. And then we got this here. Check it out. Wow, a little scenery piece here, which I think uh, turned out really great. The idea is we got the two aliens hunkering down here. And we should hopefully see a card come by, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, any second. But I have it timed in a way that when the card flies by here, this guy ducks and this guy gets blown over. And the idea is the, ki uh, the um, yeah, card is kind of a spaceship and, you know, they, sh they fight them and they shoot at them. And, yeah, this guy gets hit and gets blown over with a burst of smoke, a small explosion. And it's perfectly timed with the coaster coming by. We have several triggers to do that. So let's have a quick peek. Yep, here we go. We have a coaster coming in. And yeah, let's look at this scene here. 
So the orbital cannon fires off. We got that from before. And now comes the coaster. He starts to shoot. And pow! You know, I mean, that is just uh, super cool. Like it a lot. Here comes another card. We can see it again in action. And here she comes. And pow! You know, I mean, that is just uh, brilliant. Um, these are these little things that add a lot of life and detail to the coaster. So I think we can reopen that guy now. And that should attract some more people over here. I mean, it's pretty empty. We have not any more attractions here yet. But yeah, let's say I'm about half, almost halfway done with this building here. Trying to yeah give it a lot of detail and cool looks. And I think we're going the right direction here with this build for sure. Um, I like um, the wings as some more texturizing objects here on the side of the walls. And I will add more smaller details like the, these guys or some vents and stuff. Some more piping and other things along here. Just to give it a bit more life. And yeah, I think when we're done with that, um, we can say we created something really cool be a nice challenge to blend that over but with the crates here some cargo crates uh, scattered around I think that's already helping a lot and then some naturization maybe a little fence going along here we will see and I definitely want to do a lot of uh, more terraforming in here have some more mountain ridges and a bigger mountain here probably in the middle and then maybe also add some more custom designed spaceships flying about around the coaster um, we should be able to get that done. What are they using actually as a stand for that? Ah, okay. These metal posts. Yeah, we definitely want to keep it realistic and not ha tr uh, try not to have too much free-floating stuff. So it should be attached to the coaster somehow. But there's limits. You can only go so close to the coaster. Maybe we can have one spaceship kind of coming off here or so. And being there or some UFO or something along these lines. But yeah, in general, I'm really happy um, yeah, with the progress so far in the direction we're headed. Let me know what you think about it. It has this Futurama flair to it almost, I feel. Like this building here definitely looks a bit like Farnsworth, at least the roof and such. Looks a bit like Farnsworth's um, yeah, home, <laughs> if you know Futurama. So yeah, that's what we accomplished today really happy about it and I'm looking forward to keep on building here it's a lot of fun but at, at some point I need to call it an end I could go on and on and on for hours and hours adding more stuff I see you in the next episode and I hope you enjoyed this one bye bye guys